you mentioned the other night that you have know, offers going to ruin someone's playoff party. So you mentioned, okay, they don't have to expand to eight yet. Yeah. So if we get two in the, from the SEC in this year, how how soon does that speed the process? Right. So I, look, I don't know. If offers, I, I, I'm not saying they're going to be Georgia. I'm not saying they're going to be Alabama. I'm just saying they could, and they're and they're in position to do that. And it's similar to 2017 when they could play that spoiler. The difference this time, of course, is that they could. A lot of great things you have to happen for them to end up as the SEC representative in Atlanta. So um, I don't know. It just has some shades of that. Their D line is so good. I you feel like Bo Nix and Auburn's offense could start clicking at the right time. Maybe if the perfect storm happened, they could end up knocking off one of these teams really good. And the, the Auburn is another reason why I think they could play spoiler. But um, I, I'm with you on the expansion conversation. If two teams, you know, from the SEC were to get in, or maybe you see just some craziness happen where there's a team left on the outside, whether it is an Alabama that says, you know, look, maybe they are one of the four best teams, but because we're valuing conference championships more, maybe a Pac-12 team like Oregon gets in instead. And I think some questions could arise, but either way, I don't know that we're close to this game. I think the, the college football playoff will wait as long as they can because the whole point of it was to be so exclusive and it's worked, you know, by their knowledge and, and really by what we've seen for the most part with the results in the semifinal and the college football with that competitive results. So I don't think they want to make a change anytime they can help it. It would be fun though, wouldn't it? would it? be Real fun. quick, I know he's got to go on a personal level. Congratulations on your big extension. Thank you. Um, I'd like to know how in the world do you dunk a lift in Birmingham and travel to New York and Mississippi and how in the world are you able to do that? Well, um, do you I don't. <laughs> a lot of sleep, but that's okay because I actually like being awake more than I like being asleep. Um, <laughs> but no, I'm just thankful for all the opportunities, and, and it's been really fun to go to New York. I mean, I'm I'm raised in the South. I've spent most of my life in the South, and so New York City to me is still, and I think always will be, just um, a fun city to go to and to spend a lot of time in. And one of my favorite things about being on Get Up is we talk about all sports, but I'm also able to kind of you know put a little of that in there whenever there they'll go. let me and, right. and represent the South as, as well as I can and so that's been a lot of fun and, and just all of it is a blessing that I really could have never even imagined on my own.